all of a sudden, Schilling literally becomes like 80% of my company. And, you know, it's hard, right? Because like, I'm all about, you know, diversifying and ha not having all my eggs in one basket. But in this particular case, like we were making such good money off the parts, like we were underbidding everybody else and then we're making a killing on them. So it's hard to turn away that work, right? So I just start envisioning like, you know, we start expanding. So the, the building that we had actually had like, you know, 200,000 square foot, boom, boom, boom. And it was like new. So we took two, two bays at the beginning. Then we got a third bay. Then we got a fourth bay. Then we got a fifth bay and then a sixth bay, right? So we went from 4,000 square feet all the way up to 12,000 square feet, like inside of like two years. And basically we we're just making it happen. Like things were going so good. There came a point like in our fourth bay where they were paying so much money for water jet parts and, and you know, like all the frame pieces. So there's a foam that basically like the flotation, right? And then you have like inserts that go into the foam. And then you have these like the frame pieces that get latched onto it. And all these pieces are all water jet, right? So all of a sudden it's like, okay, so you know, Tyler comes up to me and he says, hey, what do you think about water jet? And I'm like, oh, I think it's amazing. He's like, oh, do you know anything about it? I said, yeah, I mean, I've, I've heard about it and I've seen it. I've never actually ran one and stuff. And he's like, hey, why don't you um, bid me, what would it take to actually create a water jet facility inside your shop? And I was like, because we're maxed out, right? Like they're maxed out. And I'm like, okay. So I look at expanding, you know, this is like inside of the 12,000 square feet, but I'm like, okay, I would need this bay. I go and I look up water jets. I see flow. I see the dynamic offsetting, kind of like where you take the taper away as the water's coming down at 90,000 PSI and it kind of expands. Like it actually has a dynamic five axis. So it just kind of like boom and it takes everything away. So you have nice straight edges and stuff. And I basically learn about it. I call one of the guys from flow down they bid me a machine for like three hundred and fifty thousand dollars or something i put this all this package together i give it to tyler and tyler's like done and he basically buys the machine and puts it into my facility and i asked for like you know some some charges like okay this is what it's going to take to build out the facility so he basically puts the machine in my facility and I just make all his water jet parts and he just pays me per hour using his machine and like, boom. Like those are the things that were happening. Like all of a sudden, like, you know, I was almost like his golden child, right? Because like we were just, we were just making things happen. We were solving problems. You know, they had big things happening and they need good vendors and stuff. And, and we just came in at the right time to just solve those problems.